Hey guys, welcome back. No, I haven't dropped a uh, video in a little bit. Just wanted to make a uh, video update of my tank. A um, lot of changes were made and stuff like that. As you can see, the aquascaping is completely different. Uh, I didn't add any more fish. I did add a lot more coral. Um, many different pieces and stuff like that put in the refugium went ahead and put in a uh, the uh, calcium reactor but um, I'm gonna have to take a step back to make a video of how to install a calcium reactor which is coming soon also but I had to make sure that it was working properly and everything like that and that I understood the aspect of it before I uh, put out the video um, want to give you a nice preview of what's going on here stuff that I'm expecting to grow and stuff like that um, right here this is a uh, orange digitata I got the birds of paradise over here there's a collection of different zoanthids over here I got a colt right here behind that I don't know if you can see it there's like a bushel of uh, brown polyps a, hill, a hillside going up into the left hand corner Obviously, I still got the sea cucumber up in the top uh, left corner. Um, this was actually one of my biggest umbrellas that kind of like fell off. Now it's like real small. Hopefully, it's trying to it's trying to come back. Um, hopefully, it will. I placed it right there. Hopefully, it'll sprout back into action pretty soon. Um, I got my uh, Tyree umbrella here. I this is a, a green one right here. There's also, um, this is Kevin's, um, what's that, uh, uh, Kevin's Aviapora, I think it is. Um, what else I got in here? Got this, uh, Teardrop Maxima Clam here. Got a couple, got a real nice size piece of, uh, uh polyps. These look better in the night. Um, I want to, uh try to do some with my LEDs on but my camera isn't picking it up so this is another uh, clam that I have um, this is a donut uh, you got the tubing enemies right here this is a scalemia green plates another set of plates right here um, they're losing some color I'm hoping nothing really happens to them well I'll keep monitoring um, I had the forest fire here. Um, doesn't look like it's doing too great. All the other ones are towards the back. I may have to move that piece. Um, there is the orange recordias next to it. I have my blue zanias here. The blue trumpets and polyps. That's a mixed rock. This right here is my uh, green recordias. That piece, this piece up here. That piece right there is a uh, pink and white uh, SPS coral. I haven't seen that before, so I picked up that piece. I have my. Uh, green plate coral with purple rim that's growing out pretty big getting pretty large I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it exactly to let it continue growing um, this is a couple SPS pieces I have about four in this section or five um, seeing how they're doing with these lights um, I think they like high they like the higher placements um, I'm gonna have to stick to this corner right here up in this area there's a couple pieces uh, the camera doesn't look like it's really picking them up but um I got my yellow polyps this is like a right right in front of you is like a elephant um Montipora this is a, a war coral right here it's growing on the rock pretty happy about that um, another clam back here 
this is my biggest umbrella it is actually closed now um, it's growing right now so that's pretty good it shut down to, to grow some more so that's pretty good um, obviously this this guy right here is my is my uh, my starfish this is a feather star he is uh, black and yellow so I got my Hollywood stunner I got my bubbles here a couple uh, grapes up here this right here is a uh, pink Montipora um, you can see the comparison to the red over here but that is a pink Montipora um, more this is a bicolor grape right here this is my uh, chalice it's doing pretty good it's actually growing out on the edges and stuff so that's pretty good um, gotta find a bigger rock for it uh, this is another piece that I acquired lately um, this is a green tip purple torch this is a uh, regular purple torch this is a neon plate long tentacle plates maize coral tongue coral this is a cat eye bubble let's see I got a set of magicians up here um, these are a fruit loop fruit loop polyps I mean there, there there's a lot in here there's another bubble up top and a lot of uh, mushroom or umbrella uh -oh umbrella um these are yeah a couple umbrellas what the heck is that oh great um all right we got some uh mushrooms here this is a kenya tree my lights are were actually off that's why most of my stuff is closed down um i turned it on to make a quick video um as far as the uh bottom of the tank well you guys can see what it looks like I just uh, this makes a complete difference it's a, a lens that I'm using this is the bottom of the tank we don't really need it for this portion um, as you can see I put two two uh, foam blocks here to uh, kind of the noise um, that's working out pretty good the top one is a little finer I have to clean that at least once a week or so the bottom one is more uh, more uh, rigid and has more gaps it just uh, blocks the bubbles from um, going into my tank the water level is actually high right now as you can see but I think this is where I'm gonna set my water level to uh, so my system can run normal I am my uh, I gotta scratch off this uh this other level. Um I have my two black and white clowns here, the nigels in there and there's a puffer. I also added some mangroves. I have a uh, piece of egg creek that they're sitting on and um they're just sitting there. Uh they, a lot of people think that you have to have the mangroves in sand. That is not true. You could actually just uh put a piece of styrofoam and let it float on top of the water they'll still grow as long as they get light which these do get light um, what else I got going on here um, this is my collection cup I gotta clean that out I guess I'll do that once the video is done um, and this is my calcium reactor now this calcium reactor I actually got this uh, I actually got a, a good good deal on it. This is a 7.5 pound uh, tank. Um, this is the uh, state of the art carbon doser that you guys are looking at. They run about 230. Um, there's only one company that makes them. There's no other company that makes it. Uh, it's patent pending. Uh, th this one I can say is the best. You don't have to worry about CO2 dumping or anything like that. If you see it when, when the light blinks that means that uh, it is actually feeding the CO2 into the uh, bubble counter. I got this uh, actual check valve through the same company 
and as you can see the bubbles are nice and precise I got them set to uh, I think it's 10 per minute or something like that for right now because I'm testing it out um, I had a when I initially set this up I had a leak I went ahead and took care of that um, I am using the, the Coralin uh, it comes with the e high pump and to feed the coral and I actually have this tube right here um, which goes to the aqua lifter so basically the water comes from the refugium into the aqua lifter out of the aqua lifter into this inlet port into the inlet uh, that inlet also feeds the bubble counter uh, it, it's sucked in it goes into the into a chamber the e high pump uh, is always prime using the, using the same inlet then it goes out from okay then it goes out on the other side right here to this outlet this outlet is fed from the pump the pump the pump gives it pressure on this back end right here and this is the uh, the uh, actual the other half of it and it feeds from here all the way over here through a back and then I have like a little switch right now it's going a little fast the reason being is uh my pH had dropped to about 420 so I'm trying to come up with the regulation I had it at 40 drops per minute I'm actually going to set it at probably 60 or 80 once I get a chance um, but I will be doing a uh, uh, video review on this complete system and everything like that on the uh, Coralin how it works um, also the pH probe is connected to it as you can see it's at 6.8 the light is blinking that means that it's feeding CO2 to the system um, the reason it is blinking now because it was set at 6.7 but the, my, it, I wasn't feeding any CO2 for some reason and the reason was that this inlet was actually closed off so much that the system wasn't getting fed so my calcium level was dropping slowly but surely I think I was up in like 480 or something like that now I'm all the way down to like 420 so I just did a water change which will bring it back up but I have to keep it steady so now um, I just have to regulate this outlet once I do that I should have a, a steady constant flow um, the bio pellet reactor is still up and running I barely feed my tank anymore like um I barely feed my corals I, I still feed the fish but I barely feed the corals I'm letting the bio pellet reactor take care of that it's working out pretty good um, every once in a while I do add some fuel or some other stuff weekly but that's uh, once in a blue um, lately I haven't been doing it due to the fact that I'm giving this a chance to uh, run and and see how it's working and performing all in all it's pretty good but um, I, I mean I enjoy it I mean as you guys can see this system is um, completely up and running um, I really enjoy it I mean I, I'd like to give uh, say thank you to everybody who gave me ideas on how to uh, make this system nice and uh, and unique and I must say this is unique in itself so um, thank you guys I really appreciate it so this is JB signing off and I will see you on the next one peace